Hi, I'm Justin Thames with the FICPA Governmental Affairs Department, and this is your June 23rd impact report. This morning, Governor Scott signed the more than $79 billion budget for the state. The budget, which was passed by the State House and Senate last Friday during their special session in Tallahassee, includes more than $400 million in tax cuts. Including in the, included in those tax cuts is a 10-day sales tax holiday on back-to-school items and a cut to the communication services tax. Now, specific to the profession are two items that fall under the Board of Accountancy's funds. First is the unlicensed activity campaign that helps educate the public on the importance of using a licensed CPA. Second is the Clay Ford Scholarship Fund that helps fifth-year accounting students realize their dream of becoming a CPA. Now, in a large shift from years past, the governor this year has decided to veto the line items that segregate the funds specific to the CPA profession out of the unlicensed activity fund. Now, this doesn't mean that the unlicensed activity fund is going away. It just means that those segregation of funds specific to professions like the CPAs, the realtors, and the interior designers won't be segregated as they have in the past. Now, let's take a quick look back at 2015 regular session, where the FICPA worked with Representative Dan Rollerson and Senator Jack Latvella on legislation to provide clarity to CPA firms in the state about the regulatory guidelines that they have to meet in order to be required to have a license. The second issue that we worked on this regular session was a bill dealing with local governments and some negative impacts that would have been had on the CPA firms that do audits for local governments. Now we worked with all of the CPA legislators serving the State House of Representatives to, to make sure that those negative items in that piece of legislation didn't come into effect. So, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to bring you more updates on the specific items that we worked on during this legislative session. So follow along on Impact Report and watch some more video updates that we'll be providing you to learn more about the specific bills that passed, didn't pass, and the impact of the profession. Thanks for all your support this legislative season, and we look forward to bringing more news to you in the coming weeks.